Captain's Diary, 10th of the 7th. We are proceeding at full speed to the planet Servius, where a dangerous virus is threatening one of the world's last surviving herds of wild Winnie Pig. We aim to save time by landing high up in the mountains where the Winnie Pig live. This is a dangerous manoeuvre for any navigator. But two seems confident he can pull it off. 15 seconds till landing. You sure we're on course to? 10 seconds? Relax, you're in the hands of a professional. You seem awfully calm about all this. 5 seconds? The secret here is to keep your eye on the instruments and never look out of the... Oh! Right then, to the mountains. Oh, wait a minute, can, can somebody give me a hand? Yes, certainly. Better? Typical. This is so unfair. No, I'll tell you what's so unfair. The fact that you crashed the ship in the middle of the desert and now we've got to walk 20 kilometres to the mountains. That is what's so unfair. Right, well, don't come crawling to me when you want the iron. <laughs> Please identify yourselves. Captain! Please identify yourselves. Uh, we're space fans. What is your chosen task? Chosen? You asked us here, remember? Just answer the question. Uh, we've come to help the Winnie Pigs get better. Thank you. That's all we wanted to know. Boy, what was all that about? I don't know. Some kind of security screening, I suppose. Well, come on. We've got a long way to go. <laughs> Captain! <laughs> Something soft, yeah. <coughs> Me, you nitwit. How was that? That wasn't me. It came from over there. All right, you stay here. I'll go and see what it is. Oh, look. It's all right. It's what we came here for, a wild woody pig. Oh, look. He's in a terrible state. Oh, look, he's got a number around his neck. 289. Oh, that's funny. I had an auntie once called 289. Oh, yes. I can see the family resemblance. What? How strange. Not really. Conservationists are always tagging wild animals. No, I don't mean the tag. I mean, what is a wild woody pig? Doing in an underground rock chamber when its home is up in the mountains. On holiday? <laughs> Don't you mean, what are we doing in an underground rock chamber when our home is up there, in the sunlight, where the birds sing and the breezes blow? He's right, sir. We gotta get out of here. No, but we can't just abandon this poor animal. He's right. Well, we can't exactly take it with us, can we? He's right. Will you stop saying he's right? She's right. Dog body! Okay, was only trying to help. <laughs> If you don't want my help, I'll just go over here and we'll say... Help! 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 Nearly fell down that hole. Hello! Right. Let's get this animal onto the operating table. It's okay, sir. No need. Just a few scratches. Not you, dog's body, the Winnie pig. Oh. Oh, and everyone. Watch out for holes. Mm. Just think, I might have fallen down there. Yes. Gives me a horrible, damp feeling down my back. Now, I think you'll find that's because your rucksack is leaking. What? Oh, no! Two, do you think we could clean the patient first, please? I'm afraid not, sir. There isn't any water left. It's all in two's rucksack. Two, 
I told you to put the water into water bottles. I did. No, I meant proper water bottles, like that one. Mm. Oh, what is that? Shampoo. If I don't wash my hair every day, it becomes unmanageable. So do you think you'd manage to give me your opinion on the patient's breathing? But of course. <clears throat> Faint gurgling. Probably liquid on the lungs. Hardly a mystery virus. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Mona, I'll need a glass extracted to you. Um... I'm afraid they're all smashed, sir. Two, you know that medical equipment should always be carried in a proper mission case. Well, I could hardly carry one of those heavy things on top of everything else, could I? What's this, then? Sandwiches! Two. Oh. Um, you put the medical equipment in a carrier bag, and your sandwiches in a mission case? Nice priority. Yes. Well, you never know when we may be very glad of those sandwiches. Um, Dr. Bully, I want you to apply the anaesthetic. Mona, I'll need some clean dressings. Right. I see you had a nice heavy load then. Plasters, dressings, bandages. Actually, I was carrying something rather heavy. Oh, really what? A paper tissue? No, me. Floss it. Are we at the mountains yet? No. no. It's very dark out there. Is it night time? No. It's all very exciting, isn't it? No, it is not. We are stuck underground, we have no water, and if we don't die of thirst, it'll only be because we starve to death first. Thank you, too, for that morale-boosting talk. Uh, Mona Dog's body, I want you to start looking for a way out. All right? Two, you can give me a hand here. Oh, can I? What about me? Can I help? Yes. Oh, good. What do you want me to do? Keep quiet and don't speak until you're spoken to. Ooh, I think I'd be good at that. Ah, this is hopeless. Forty feet below ground, entombed in solid rock. Yeah, well, at least they know we're here. Who's they? Well, whoever's operating the machine up above. Mona, that's just a computer. All it means is in 20 years' time, they'll know who we used to be when they find our bones. Mm, listen to Mr. Ray of Sunshine. Mm. Now, I'm sure somebody's watching us. <laughs> hey! What? Oh. I felt something smooth and hard. Rock, perhaps? Nah, probably just my imagination. <laughs> You know, it's never been done this way before. But it's the only chance we've got of drawing less fluid off the lungs. Um, yes, yes. You wouldn't like to do it, would you do? No, I would not. I mean, how could I deprive you of the chance of making veterinary history? Right you are. Oh, well, here goes. Um, much better. Mm. <gasps> Look, doggy, a door! <sighs> hey, Captain! Come quickly! Oh, two, take over. Take over? <laughs> what is it? What's up the hole? <gasps> what is it? It's a door, sir. It just doesn't open. I'm No. I get all the glamour jobs, don't I? See, he stops breathing and it stays shut. Now take it off, too. Huh. He starts breathing again huh. and then goes. If we can get that Winnie Pig breathing properly, then maybe we can get out of here. I can't believe it. Three hours and it's only moved half a centimetre. Mm. sound silly, but you, the captain, two, you're like my family, really. You're right. It does sound silly. Still, I know what you mean. <sighs> I'm 
crisis sure brings people together. Now, I thought I told you to stop that racket. What is the matter with you? What do you think? Being stuck here with you, not. <clears throat> don't tell me. You want one, don't you? I hope I can manage it all. What's in it, anyway? Raw onion and beetroot. You made it with something nicer. This is nice. Besides, if you were really hungry, you'd eat it. You want to bet? What sort of cheese is it? Cheese? Yeah, the blue mouldy stuff. Ah, yes. That's not cheese mould. That's mould mould. One of the onions was going off. Mine's all right, though. Oh, good. Two! Oh. I'm sure that if we can dislodge it, we'll be in business. The trouble is, I haven't got enough puff. That is because you have the barely formed lungs of a child. Stand back and let a mature adult take over. <laughs> Tenacious stuff, this. <laughs> oh, well oh. done, too. And what's more, I didn't swallow yeah. any. <laughs> Nice work, too. Well, the breathing's cleared already. Nice work. I can feel a lovely warm breeze. Must be that sandwich. No! Look! The door! It's working! Hey, Captain! The door's opening again! Yes! Tell me the moment it's wide enough for anyone to get through. Check. Patients should be able to enjoy a light meal, perhaps of its favourite food, the leg of young dog. Dog's body! Yes, sir? Get away from here. Excuse me? Take these cylinders and Look. get out of here. But, sir, I will not desert my crewmates. If you don't leave here, you will be deserted. Mm -hmm. Now go and wait by that door. Suit yourself. Two, give the Winnie Pig the rest of your sandwich. You might not like it. It says here that witty pigs eat anything. Well, 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 Sir, door's almost ready to get through. Hey, how's the patient? Much better, go away. Oh, feeling better, huh? Good. Don't. Good hey, I think he likes me. <laughs> yeah, with a large Coke and fries. Come on, well, let's get out of here. But, oh, but, yes, I, yes, what? nice witty pig. Uh, nice talking to you. Oh, oh, oh. Let those bullies through first, sir. Wait, the cylinder! Stop putting! Right, I'll go through first then. No, uh, what about me? Ah, oh, come in. Get a move on, to. Get a move on! Right. Hey, hi, fella. Boy, is this guy friendly. He's not friendly. He wants to eat you. 